You know, to hear protesters tell it, all cops are killers or worse, just totally insensitive than bullies. They're all out to get us. Really? I want you to take a look at what this officer in Alabama did. Instead of arresting this grandmother for stealing eggs, he bought them for her, hugged her and sent her on her way. It was all caught on tape. And now that tape is going viral. It didn't end there. I'm honored to have the officer with me right now. Officer William Stacy. thank you, sir. Good to have you. How are you doing today? I am, and I tell you, boy, did we need a story like this, officer. Uh, this woman had stolen eggs. She, she had tucked them in her park, pocket, a lot of them were broken. The store uh, caught her, right? Explain then what happened. Yes, sir. Well, after um, I made contact with her on the parking lot, uh, she admitted to me that she, had, she did indeed steal the eggs, and um, she didn't have any of the eggs on her. Um, Dollar General had already made up their mind on what they were going to do about the situation. And before I left, she told me she needed help and that she needed to put food in her baby's stomachs. And um, I couldn't let the babies go hungry, so I told her to go and park in the parking lot. Ran inside Dollar General, went ahead and bought her a carton of eggs and brought them back out to her. Um, I met her at her vehicle, handed her the eggs, and she immediately got upset, started crying, apologizing for what she had did and um very very upset very apologetic and gave me a big old hug and she kept trying to give me the money she had on her which was only a dollar 25 i told her to keep it you know that that she needs to hold on to it save it and it's the only way she can repay me is to never do something like this ever again now dollar general was not going to pursue charges you could have let it end there dollar general's happy she's not arrested end of story you got her the eggs but it didn't end there and you're a modest man officer but you went back to her house. Tell us about that. Yes, sir. Yesterday, we, um, we received a tremendous response from everybody, um, donating food and a bunch of other items to her and me, some other officers and sergeants with her house and delivered all the stuff that was given to her. And um, it, was, it, was, it, was a, it was good. It was a good sight to see she was getting the things she needed. Yeah, she just wanted to feed some kids, right? I mean, and she, had, she was distraught. She had no... No, no way to do it, right? Yes, sir. You know, officer, I'm sure you've been peppered with it. People were so intrigued today. Many people were, were, were using their phones to take video of this whole thing because they couldn't believe what was going down. And we're used to these days, as you know, sir, uh, taking video of police doing questionable things. And this, this was something very awe-inspiring, uh, very much in keeping with the season. And, and I wanted to bring it to folks' attention here just to say, I mean, we're, we're hearing quite another impression of, of, of law enforcement officials and I dare to say yours is more common uh, 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 of, of your profession than anything we've been seeing going on in Ferguson or New York yes sir I, I, I feel the same way you know the, what I did you know hundreds of thousands of officers every day across the United States do the same exact thing they even do more than what I what I did but um, I, just, I don't understand why this video went viral the way it has. But I, I'm happy it has and I'm grateful it has because I feel like during this time, it's a positive image for law enforcement officers. And we really need that right now. You know, I also think, but, and I mean this in all due respect, officer, you're, you're a big mush. And you could have just <laughs> yes, let it go and gone on to your next assignment and just said, all right, don't do this again, lady. But no, you didn't let it end there. And something in you. Um, that I think is in a lot of law enforcement personnel's DNA, uh, couldn't let it rest there. You knew this, this, this woman needed help. You knew she needed food. And, and you knew she needed more than just sort of like, don't do it again. So what made you yes, do sir. that? It's just when she says she needed food for her kids. You know, you can't, you can't let kids go hungry. You know, it's not their fault, you know. I just couldn't let her leave. I couldn't, I couldn't just live, let it in like that. I had to do something. And part of my job is serve and protect. And during that day, you know, serving her was helping her by getting the eggs for her. You know, officer, I know you haven't been around for the whole show, but we've had some crazy stories, crazy incidents, wacky things. This still gives me hope. You give me hope. Yes, it's sir. a beautiful thing you did. Thank you very, very much. Thank you.